On September 11th, 2001, I was 10 years old. Yeah, I was, I was a kid. I was going about my childhood life. My biggest concerns were, you know, getting more Neo points. Um, so I woke up that morning. I woke up on the morning of the 11th and got dressed, got ready for school. It was one of my first days of grade 5. It wasn't the first day, but it was early in grade 5. And I got ready for school, and then I was watching Popular Mechanics for Kids with my brother. And then my mom came into the room and said that a plane had hit a building, and we needed to turn off Popular Mechanics for Kids and turn on the news. And, you know, my, my concern here was, I don't want to turn off Popular Mechanics for Kids. I'm, I'm learning so much about mechanics that are popular, and it's fun, and why are you making me change the channel, Mom? What? Um, so she, she made us watch the news, and I, I watched it, and... I wasn't really interested, because to me it was just, okay, another bad thing has happened in the world. And I know a lot of people my age felt the same way, because to us, you know, bad things happened. And so I had no reason to think that this was going to be any different, to just another bad thing happening in the world. And I went to school that day, and I, you know, had my day at school, and everything seemed normal. I'm sure for the teachers it wasn't a normal day, but for us kids it seemed like just a normal morning at school. And then there was lunchtime. So at my elementary school, there were some kids that stayed at school for lunch, lunch program kids, and some kids that went home for lunch. And I was a lunch program kid. I always stayed at school. But that day, the lunch program kids stayed at school, and the other kids went home. And when the going home kids got back, the mood had definitely changed. Um, a lot of them seemed pretty scared. Some of them were crying. And word quickly spread to all the lunch program kids that there were some big buildings and that they had collapsed. And the words terrorist attack started getting thrown around. And you know, we were just kids. We didn't know what that meant. We we just, like, it, it was so hard to comprehend that it might be something like that on purpose. It, it, was, it was really weird. Um, we talked about it that afternoon in school. I remember my teacher sitting us all down and explaining to us what had happened. And, and I know that day had a huge effect on the world. I know it changed the world as we know it. But it also had an effect on me, a, a noticeable effect. Um, for one thing, I started reading the newspaper, which is a tiny little change, but that, you know, the the first day, I think, that I read a newspaper for anything other than the comics was September 12th, 2001, and I, you know, I came home from school and I read the newspaper, or at least the, t the cover section, um, I read through the whole thing, and that, I think that was the beginning of me starting to become aware of things that were going on in the world. But another change that I noticed was I was scared. I, they had succeeded in making me afraid. And that's weird thinking back on, but I, I, you know, as a kid, I I started thinking, well, you know, if this could happen to all these innocent people, why not me? Um, I used to imagine, you know, I'd be lying in my bed at night, my, my little kid bed, you know, like right here in this bedroom, this was the bedroom I had when I was a little kid, I'd be lying in my bed here in this bedroom, and I would be imagining a plane crashing into my house, and I, I, I would be really, really terrified of that. And I know I wasn't the only one. There were a lot of children alive in 2001 and for the years after. Um, there were many. I was just one of them. And I'm not the only kid that became scared because of that. So this is something that I grew up with, right? Like, you know, I was 10 years old and I became afraid of terrorist attacks. And I've since grown out of that. I don't, you know, I don't worry about planes crashing into my house anymore. I'm 20 now and that's not my biggest fear anymore, but it's still, I mean, it, it likely shaped the way that I thought as a kid, and it, it probably had a rather significant effect on who I am now, having had this event. And I live in Canada, you know, I'm not even, I'm not an American, I've never lived in the States, but all over the world, people's lives were changed because of this one event in so many different ways, you know, I mean, there's so many political ramifications, but also just the little kids that grew up in fear, even when they had nothing to fear. And that is pretty awful.